everybody. Today I received the long-awaited Firelock Game Starter Set in the mail. And today I'm going to unbox it for all of us. Very exciting. I've been waiting a few months for this. <clears throat> Finally came in the mail today. And we'll see what we get. Big box. I think it said it weighed about 10 pounds. Here's my invoice. I bought mine from Atomic Empire. Lots of peanuts. And here we go. Giant box. Firelock game starter set Blood and Plunder. Okay, as you can see here, it's the Blood and Plunder Blackbeard versus Maynard two player starter set. plastic now. Nice solid box. Been looking forward to getting this puppy. Looks like on the back. We should probably go over what's inside. Two player starter set. Brandish your cutlass and musket and prepare for high adventure on the Spanish main. Take control of forces such as pirates, privateers, colonial militias, Native American warriors, European navies, Blood and Plunder Rulebook features the innovative initiative system with simple and intuitive rules. The fast-paced, highly tactical rule set, set in the 17th and 18th centuries. Americas during the age of piracy can be played on your average kitchen table in about two hours and is sure to appeal to both casual and competitive players. This book includes all the rules necessary to play out battles on land, sea, and both simultaneously. To go along with this book, Firelock Games has produced a full line of the highest quality models of its genre. The models are available at firelocks.com and are as well as supporting retail locations. Blood and Plunder was also produced in consultation from world-renowned historian and author Benerson Little to ensure that all models, scenarios, and strategies actually reflect the period. So come aboard, roll some dice, and have some fun. We're going to get a soft cover rule book. Edward Blackbeard Teach figure, Lieutenant Robert Maynard figure, 24 28 millimeter plastic soldiers with weapons and head options, two times plastic ship kits for the Balandra or the Bermuda sloops, two activation decks, unit and ship cards, three by C landbot, turning gauge, stink pot gauge, wind direction gauge, two sided punch board terrain, six by 10 there are six times DD-10s, uh, marker tokens, and measuring rulers. All right, so let's see how this puppy looks. Okay, let's see what we have. Here we go. Mm. The box feels amazing. It's good. Plastic off, here we go. It's like a treasure chest. Very sturdy box. All right, here we go. Here's the mat. Land side. Ocean side, three by three mat. Can get started right away, looking good. Next we have instructions on the sailors. Instructions on the ships and the sailors. And then two independent black boxes. The first box contains a sloop and sailors. I'm not sure which is which yet, but here's the sprue. Many head options on there. Here's the ship. Looking solid. Looks like it's going to be fun to put together. All right. Some more parts of the ship. More ship. And pieces of the ship. Alright. I'm going to assume the second box is the same. 
looks like it's about the same. Let's get into what we have else in here. We have our cardboard cutouts, we have chits, we have the gauges, we have the measurement rulers. We have two cards for our ships. We have character cards for our leaders. We have land and sea markers. Another card for Blackbeard. We have 10 sided dice. <clears throat> the Blood and Plunder rule book. And two sets of cards. So it looks like you have everything you need to get started. All right, so that's the unboxing of the Blood and Plunder Blackbeard and Maynard two-player starter set. I look forward to getting this onto the table. I wanted to open the second box in case there was any differences. So here it is. Looks like it's about the same. We have a group of pirates. It says about 24. Get a better zoom in for you guys there. Again, more pirates. They look like they're going to be really fun. I have to say the metal figures were really difficult for me to paint. So I'm hoping these guys are easier. Um, here's another ship. I'm not sure if this is the sloop or the Baland Balandra. So... They look really similar, so I'm not sure if they're the same ship and... Oh, look at that front piece. That's really cool. Little mermaid front piece. Here's the decks. Nice engraving on there. Pick up some texture when you shade it. And here are the pieces, the guns. The guns are plastic now. They were metal before, now they're plastic. So they look really similar in both boxes. Let us know what you think. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And check us out at MajorWellington.com. All right, we'll see you at the tables. Thank mm -hmm. you.